Okay, okay. I don't. What's, it's just a big. I don't know what's in this box. And it's kind of big. Is it a pony? Do you think it's a pony? Did I get a pony? Let's find out. I think it might not be a pony and it says that it's from coach and I know that I have been tired ordering like really exhausted ordering but I know I really hope I didn't order like like this much stuff like look at this it's it's a huge it's a humongous box <laughs> Let's just dig into it, shall we? Yeah, I had it almost all the way. There we go. <laughs> wait, 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 I gotta show you, hold on. Here we go. <laughs> like I got, I got, I got air pillows. Yay for Christmas. Okay, um, you know, I will say one thing. I am kind of, I, I am kind of intrigued with the various air pillows that they're coming out with. They used to be really cool, and I think the ones that Amazon sends for the most part still are. You have like a pillow and then like a, like a, like a space and then another pillow and a space kind of like this right here, but this would be two pillows and you could pull them apart and make your own pillows. But now they're just like one big pillow for camping or sleeping like that, but not, it's not good. I don't like these as much. I don't know why I don't, but I, I think probably because I use them for my handbags and I think, what if this one's too long? I could have just used the little small one. It would have been great. So let's get rid of these. I'm just gonna throw them on the floor. Right there, actually they're going into a box that's right there, it's not. Oh, it's a little, not all the way. To, this one's not inflated all the way. Like it can only go some of the way. It has pillow dysfunction. Okay, so here we go. I have to show you now. Seriously, though, <laughs> that's, what's the, that's what's in the bag. Oh, that's what's in the box. <laughs> I love it. Okay, I'm very grateful that they put the pillows in. So let's get started. I am gonna, I know that I've been, like, I know I've been kind of playing around a little bit. I will try to be quicker with this. So let's dig right in. Here is the very first one. And of course, I think I mentioned earlier that it was from Coach. I'm going to try to peel these off. Because I love these, um, I love these plastic bags for shipping for later. Like if I send this bag back out, then I like to put it in its bag. I like to put it in its own shipping bag. They do a phenomenal job protecting their bags in shipping. Is that the bag or is that the paper? Okay, there might be some glue smell over here. Oh, but there's also leather, so it's all good. This is the Gallery Tote. I decided to go for a neutral color this time. A delightful zipper in the front. I was thinking that it reminds me of the uh, Louis Vuitton. So this one kind of reminds me of the Louis Vuitton Aina, although I think this has been around a little bit longer. But anyway, it's a good option to see if it's something that I would like. Kind of got to tell you, I like this bag on its own. It's got a good feel to it. It's kind of um, a squishy a little bit. I dig that. So there you have it, the gallery tote. So this one I purchased because I was watching a video of Autumn Beckman. I am going to link her channel below. If you haven't already, go out and watch her. She's doing Vlogmas the same as I am. Actually, she was the one that encouraged me to do it. And one of hers, she talked about this right here. 
Now hers is in black. I'm not a really big fan of card, ho card holders, but she recently did a video that talked about card holders, the different kinds, the different feel, and I was fished in people. I, I ordered one like within 24 hours. I was like, mm, maybe I do need to try it. So that happened. And I'm real excited because this does feel a lot softer. I have a Louis Vuitton Mon Mono and I'm not the biggest fan of it because it's kind of stiff. And I know that it, I probably need to wear it more so it can be softer, but this one already feels kind of soft and I like it. It's got a lovely kind of like a burgundy interior. I don't, there we go. You can see it now. I I like it. It's a lot softer. So I I really do like this. Uh, thank you, Autumn. That's a was a really good um, thing that you encouraged me to get. I appreciate it. The next item that I have is right here. It's also, as you can tell, maybe you can, yeah you can tell. Same style, pattern, same. We'll say material, same color. So here we go. It's a lovely wristlet. Very excited about this one. I tend to enjoy the pastels in the world. I love the lavenders. I love the pinks. I love the blues and the greens too. But when I saw this, I thought, oh, it's so cute. I love it. I thought, gosh, it's going to go really well in that Galleria tote. And here's why I think that. When a, when a purse is black or navy, or anything that's a deep color, and they do the same color on the inside, it becomes the purse hole, right? But if you take a beautiful light pastel and you drop it down in there, mm, right? You, you feeling me there? You can, oh, all of a sudden, there's light down in there. And you're like, oh, that's where my wallet is. That's where my whatever is. So I always tend to get something a little bit lighter when it comes to SLGs or things that I'm going to put in here. Now here's why I like this particular wristlet so much. This has, let's see, one, two, three, four, so eight. So there's eight card slots in here. And then there's room to put other things. So you truly could just use this as a wristlet for the day, or you could just use it as a wallet, or you could ignore those card slots, or they could be your store cards. You could do all kinds of things in here, but you've got lots of room for lipsticks or a fan in case you are having personal summers. All of those things you could do with this particular wristlet. And it feels so delightful. I love the art deco of it. This wristlet makes me incredibly happy. So there we have it, gone down into the gallery of purse. Or is it gallery or is it gallery? Mm, I'm going to leave whatever it really is right there. So the next thing is not pink, nor is it a gallery, or nor is it um, art deco. So let's take a look at this. What really brought me to the website is I have a very dear friend who's been looking for a crossbody to take when she just goes locally uh, where, where she is. So she's in Connecticut and she likes to take day trips into New York City and she wants a very small crossbody. And I saw this and was a little intrigued that this might fit the bill for her and I wanted to get one in just to try it. So here we go. It said that it's a wristlet 19. Wristlet 19. Oh, I love it. So it has a little coach tag that's super cute. It has this chain, so it could truly be a wristlet if you would like for it to be a wristlet. Or, look at this. Mm hmm. It has a little hole thingy over here. <laughs> very, very similar to the pochette accessoire. So you could take this and bring it right over to this side and it could dangle really cute while you take any kind of long strap and connect it. So hold on just a second and let's make that happen. Now don't you know somewhere I have 
an order that came in from Coach with a gold chain. I ordered it, but I do not see it anywhere. So we're going to take just a generic chain and we're gonna hook it to one side. And then we're gonna take this chain, we're gonna hook it to the other side, the other side. Oh, do, 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 do. There we go. And voila. Now we have a very lovely crossbody. Let's see what's on the inside. I'm hoping this will fit the bill for my very dear friend. Let's get this paper out. Mm -hmm. All right. Now. It has on the inside, very similar to the Art Deco bag, it has one, two, it only has two places for credit cards. And then it has one pocket right there. And then it has the general population right there. And I mean, it's large enough. You take a couple of credit cards or you take this card case, a couple of credit cards, and a cute little pink card case so you can see down, again, the purse hole because it's black on the inside. There you go. And then maybe, I don't know, your, your phone, maybe a chapstick or a lipstick, and then what else do you need? You're running the streets of New York feeling wonderful. So I think this is definitely a go. I love this little bag. Yay, that's awesome. I wanted to share something personal from my tree that I don't get to talk about very often. And I, I wanted to talk with you about it this evening. And that is, when you look back there, there's a combination of ribbons and bows and then very old ornaments. And the reason for that is they have such sentimental value and I wanted to share one of them with you. This is a, one of the ones that are most important to me. So I hope you don't mind me taking a little trip down memory lane. This particular ornament has been with our family for such a long time. I'm gonna try to get it a little closer. So that's a machine. This machine was located in Pennsylvania. And this was the 50th anniversary of this particular ribbon machine. It was, it went online in 1926 and this was the 50th year's celebration of its use. So it was 1976 uh, when we got this and we actually had more than one and this is the only one that's left. So basically this was made on the ribbon machine. Then it goes on to say, 1976 commemorates the 125th year of Corning Glass Works. Now, that's really important for our family because my dad spent some time as a glass blower in Corning Glass Works. Now, for those of you who may not know what Corning Glass Works is, it was a very important company way back when I was growing up. They made place settings, they made teapots, they made casserole dishes. They also made all kinds of wonderful figurines. In Corning, there was the horrible flood of 19, I want to say 71, 72, when Hurricane Agnes actually made her way into lower New York, down in Corning, New York. Uh, came through there and the Shemung River that goes through it actually flooded. So Corning's like in a valley and it flooded and people had to flee up into the mountainy area. And my aunt happened to live there at the time. We were visiting at the time. We were coming from New York going back to Florida when the hurricane actually hit and we had stopped at a McDonald's to eat and my dad and my mom decided to turn back around the weather was getting rough and within an hour that that mcdonald's had been destroyed so anyway some rich history in corning and just really cool that they had a satellite plant this is where my grandpa worked he worked the dairy farm but at night worked the dairy farm during the day but at night he would go work at the um the the Corning factory. 
my uncles worked at Corning, so it was a big deal. Just such, Corning was such a wonderful and important part of our family. Every time I see this, I think of my grandpa and uh, the work that he did there. And I'm really grateful for that. I'm really grateful to remember my gramps at this time of year.